Okay, Lisa, here is the house at 30 Nolana. And this has concrete all the way up to your back gate. There's your front. Let me see if I can get a good shot of it. Just from the front, it's super cute. It's got that little patio. Okay, let's walk into the house so you can feel the flow. It's got concrete and rocks, nice big tree. This little patio. Alrighty. So this is the front door as we enter. And as you can see, you can stay straight out to your backyard. But to the right is the kitchen. So as we came in, here's the kitchen. You've got vaulted ceilings all over. That's your pantry. And then these are the windows where you can put your little kitchen table. And like I said, it's got vaulted ceilings. All right. So as we walk in to the left, so here is the den slash bonus room. This is where I was like, your piano would easily go in here if you wanted to move that futon and recliner. You've got a closet and this little nook that has a hutch in it. And then another closet that's got linens and towels. Now behind here is a bedroom with a, a closet. I mean, it's not huge. The paint is super clean. Every room has a light and a fan. Then on this side of the bonus room is the second extra bedroom. And they have nice um, faux wood blinds on all of the windows. And again, ceiling fans. This is your laundry room. It's big. It walks into the garage, but it's big enough space so people don't feel like they're crowded. And your garage is just a basic garage, two car, nothing fancy. It does have some extra things in here, another um, lounge chair and some like gardening tools, a rake, things like that. Okay, so then this is kind of the second wing. So as we walk back out here, this is your kitchen. There's the kitchen again. Here's your living space. Now you could put your piano right here. It would also fit there and then you'd still have tons of space for your inner, for your sectional that you were talking about. And then there's this big nook for your entertainment stuff, your TV, everything that you have. And this is the opening. It's really actually very open and it feels very bright. Okay, so then this is the back. Again, you've got these great views into your backyard, but this is the master. So here's your closet. It's big. Your master's a decent size. This is a queen. It still has got, you could easily put a king. You've got a ton of room. Again, another ceiling fan. The master has vaulted ceilings. Now here's the thing, here's the bathroom. You could put in a vanity that had two sinks. It would fit right in here. And then you've got the garden tub with the shower and a little bit more light. The tile is really nice, but it's small. I would tell you, I've seen it where people have put like little um, curtains or you could put a really nice glass door there if you wanted. All right, so let's go into the backyard. So obviously from the backyard, you can see the front door. But we walk out here and you've got this nice patio with another ceiling fan. Um, all of these are pavered, paved. So even out here, it's all got pavers on it. Um, and then over onto this side, this is your AC, which is a newer unit. I don't see the rent. Oh, it's a Goodman. So that's a good unit. And it doesn't look very, it doesn't look rusted. So I would say it's probably newer. And you do have this nice little fence. So when your grandbabies come, you can shut the gate. The kids could play in this area and you don't have to worry about them getting into the pool. So here you go with the pool. You've got this step up place again. 
this pool is really big. Um, it's got, you know, we're gonna have it checked out in terms of the condition. We'll have an inspection done to make sure it's all working correctly. Um, that might be a heater. It might be heated. I don't know. I think it's actually heated. We'll have to double check, but I think it's heated. The rest of your pool equipment is behind that wall. That is a waterfall. And the rest of this is paved. So you've got lots of space, lots of potential. 